LPT do not use DoorDash, even if it's a bit of a drive. That might be common sense to some. But I feel like a lot of my friends and I justify the occasional DoorDash purchase by saying meh. It'll cost gas too. It is not even remotely worth it anymore. There was a time where delivery was a little more. Which is totally understandable. Paying for convenience and the driver is fair. However, I just had an order on DoorDash that rang up with Dasher tip. Pretty much the only way they get paid is $45. I said forget that. Went in person. And a 15 minute drive later. The total was $25. That is an insane markup. I couldn't spend $20 in gas on a fast food run if I tried. Almost double the cost don't justify it to yourself. It ain't worth it. They mark up the price of the food in the app. And they charge delivery fee. And service fee. And tip. Their tax calculations also include the fees. So you end up paying more in tax too. Absolutely nuts. Anyway, for my fellow Friday night exhausted workers, this is your motivational speech. Don't do it. Everybody has their price. Okay, looks like I'm drunk driving to McDonald's. DoorDash is extremely convenient when I'm high and need McDonald's at 3 a.m. I generally agree but there are circumstances in which DoorDash or Uber Eats still make sense 1. When intoxicated and unable to drive and 2. When you're in a situation where you value the amount of time it would take to pick up the food higher than the delivery fee. Example if it takes 30 minutes to go pick up and I value my time at $30 per hour. Then a $14.99 fee is rational to pay if it saves me 30 minutes of my own time. It depends a lot on how you value your time and what the fee is. I don't order DoorDash because A it'll cost gas too I pay the $15 because I don't want to put on pants. Spend 10 minutes driving. Maybe my food isn't ready. Spend 10 minutes driving home. Granted, my Chase card also gives me free Dash Pass too. So I'm really only paying $7.15 depending on distance for tip for it. Also, I might already be really drunk. Or super fucking high. You're paying for convenience. Whether the markup is worth it varies from person to person. Or. Just weigh the cost benefit like we do with everything else. Yeah, it's an insane cost, but if you can't drive or are extremely sick hungover, it may be worth it. I don't drive, so DoorDash fits my needs. My worst drunk habit is ordering WAYYY too much food on DoorDash. But I'd rather spend too much on DoorDash than a DUI. The real LPT is don't order out frequently enough to have to worry about paying the premium for DoorDash. For the one or two times per month I order out, I want the convenience of coming from work and doing nothing other than waiting for my food to arrive. If you're eating out multiple times a week, DoorDash is only part of the problem. I agree the markup is insane but I use it when I need it. I know I am paying for someone's time. I see on the app some time of how long it takes for the driver to go to the restaurant. Wait for the food and drive to where I am at. You're paying for their time car expenses. Did you somehow previously think it was a cheaper option? Ill order proper food delivery but not fucking fast food. If you're spending $35 on a cold McDonald's meal you fucked up. You know a pizza place will bring you enough pizza for 10 people for that price. And it will be good. Fast food is good for 10 minutes. It's going to sit in your driver's seat for double that. Those fries are fucked. Coming from someone who orders DD more than the average person. The only way DoorDash is worth it is if you have Dash Pass especially if you are a student and can get the student rate. As someone without a license, I assure that a bit of a drive could easily end up costing me more than DoorDash. That said, 
I still don't use DoorDash. I've stopped using DD and other deliveries for the most part. But they are a lifesaver if I'm sick and can barely get out of bed. I'm not cooking a solid meal in that state. I'm just trying to keep me and my kid fed. Weird I thought this sub was life pro tips not trying to demand me not to use a service. I don't think anyone here disagrees with you but you are just kind of venting. Where's the LPT? Now I'm high and hungry. Guess I'll risk the drive. Where I live. The restaurants all have the same white label food delivery service. I pay the regular prices with no delivery fee. Kinda sick. When I quit smoking in 2021, the biggest win was $400 mo for DoorDash Instacart I'm a hermit. This just in. Getting food delivered is more expensive than picking it up yourself. Next you'll tell me I might get wet if I stand outside in the rain. This isn't a LPT. Don't pay for a service because I say it's not worth it. Lol. You do you buddy. But I'll keep paying a little extra to have someone bring food to my house. I'm also going to continue paying someone else to cut my grass and wash my car. Good for you for being budget conscious. But let's not pretend this is anything more than an opinion rather than a LPT. I get that it's more expensive. But sometimes I don't want to cook or don't have enough ingredients to cook. And seeing how I do not have a license nor the knowledge of how to drive. It becomes one of my more appealing options. I do agree it's expensive AF though. Pass. You do you. A better tip would be to think twice before ordering DoorDash or use it infrequently or just under. Certain circumstances or add up your DD expenses for a month to see if it's worth the money to you. Or some other variation. Those fees sure add up though. Not all the time. But some of the time my actual time spent is worth way more than 20 bucks. Also it's trivial to find deals that defray the cost. Sometimes to the point where it's almost at parity to picking it up. Your take is not quite as hot as you think lol. I agree with this post also I door dashed cold medicine this week and it was worth every penny. It's almost like you're paying an additional company and driver to deliver your food. Like a service? AD delivery service. Perhaps? Oh forget it I'm stupid. Don't listen to me. I don't DoorDash because I don't want to drive. I do it because I can't. And when you're drinking, an extra $20 is worth it. Believe it or not some people have expendable income and value their time more than their money. It's a convenience service that you pay the price for. And it saves a lot of people from driving under the influence so it's not all bad. DoorDash and Airbnb both shit the bed royally when they could have been the chosen ones. Shame. I just bought 120% chicken nuggets from McDonald's. My justification I was WFH and it was at least 30 minute round tip. Total with $3 tip $18.50. When I'm sick and mentally unwell and can't cook. I order via Uber Eats. Why? Because I don't trust myself to drive when I'm mentally unwell. Already had enough fantasies of crashing my car. You're paying for the convenience. Some people make enough money that they don't care about the additional fees. All they want is to have food delivered to them. Personally I don't use any third-party delivery services because I am too cheap but I can. Definitely understand why some people would do that. This isn't even close to a life pro tip. LPT use air to breathe. My time to go and pick it up is exponentially more expensive than the delivery markup. Most of the dashers in my town look like extras on The Walking Dead. I really don't trust anybody with my order other than me and meth head Larry. He's a stand-up guy 30 of the time.